Hello everyone, my name is Sapio, and after a short uh, hiatus from recording videos, I am back with more content, and today we are going to be playing some Conquest Reforged. Uh, in today's video, I'm also going to be showing you how to get started. Now, uh, I've went ahead and pre-generated a world because this uh, mod pack that I'm using is a little bit heavy and uh, I'm running it with good frame rate myself because my computer is quite beefy, but uh, you might uh, have to generate pre-generate a world for yourself if you ever decide to play this mod pack. Uh, without, further, without further ado, let's uh, get into it. Now, uh, let's just say uh, I started uh, after the pre-generation and I pre-generated the map as well also. So let's, let's get into that. I have the whole world pre-generated the world and the map is pre-generated okay so we have if i could find a village somewhere um excuse me one moment all right so pardon me i just cut the recording briefly so i could uh, kind of look at the map it's kind of confusing <laughs> Uh, so it's getting to be nighttime i'm gonna as you do in minecraft you should always be looking for a bed now i've Wasted my time looking at the map while the map was generating in real while the map was playing out in real time So I wasted a bunch of time I did so anyway uh, I've got a pickaxe with me. I guess let's get a stone pickaxe going here. All right So I got myself a stone pickaxe. Uh, I'm gonna yeah, I'm a little bit swamped here. I I'm trying to record while playing. I don't know. I I usually when I'm talking and playing the game, I'm, off, I'm usually kind of awful, honestly, playing and talking. This okay. So I found some sheep over there. I don't mean to sound scatterbrained. Just trying not to. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> we found some sheep. Should be okay. Should be okay. Oh, there's a freaking zombie. Okay, so we can kill these sheep here. That's gonna be a bad, a bad for me, and a bit of meat, but mainly the bed. <clears throat> you will have to excuse the background noise and, well, the background. That's uh, a thing that happens here sometimes. Uh, anyway, so the place that I was looking for, and I'm looking to go to, I, oof, I believe it's up north, I'm not sure, this map. The zooming on the map is really bad. I don't know how to honestly zoom on this map properly. I want to get a boat, I think. Uh, okay, so in this playthrough, I have a tree chop the tree chopper mod. Allows me to chop trees faster. Yeah, get some wood. It's not as boring, right? <laughs> it's a lot faster. Okay, so get rid of that. First of all, as you do, you gotta drop all your crap out of your inventory because uh, Conquest Reforged. It's uh, basically get all the crap simulator. Pick up all the crap simulator. So as we go sailing through the ocean, uh, I'm leaving the Japanese forest area in order to sail out to Possibly a village. Now, let me look at this. I mean, the village. Ah, it's right here, the village. I just couldn't see it before. Okay, I gotta go all the way over there. And there's a village. Did I mention this game is laggy? <laughs> uh, anyway, so I wanted to show you that at some point in the gameplay, if you don't start with a bonus chest, you should all you should just basically find some gravel somewhere and get yourself started with a flint pickaxe. Now, if you're not a complete moron, you should be able to do that yourself. I mean, it's just sometimes it's complicated getting tools going and then the sheep and then the bed. You know, bed, I got that. And it's 1.12, so I can't just steal a bed from a village. I got to make one myself. The world is lagging a bit, but okay. I'm gonna steal these bookshelves. And hopefully we'll get a... Oh my god, the world is lagging a little bit. I could probably reduce that. Wait a sec. This 
If I reduce the frame rate to 120, it shouldn't stutter as badly. I hope. Cross my fingers. Anyway, so, more bookshelves. Like I was trying to say, uh, bookshelves equal basically uh, uh, the full, full max level enchants is what we're trying to look for. Also, when you're in a village, when you're in a village, you should probably go ahead and take all this crap. Get the seeds. Another thing in Conquest Reforged is that you do not, uh, the grass in the plains biome does not always get seeds like in vanilla Minecraft. So it's also, it's a, it's a good thing to do to get the seeds from this village here and allow you to start your own crops. Get the potatoes too, why not? can even sell them, but you should probably keep a certain amount for yourself for, yeah, for self-explanatory, self-explanatory reasons. Huh, barley seeds, that's cool. I'm not sure what the barley would give, but I'm curious about growing that. Why not, right? Alright, so I'm just looking for- Oh, the blacksmith, of course. There's probably some iron in there. We're gonna want to get in there. Oh, yes. Okay. This is not bad. A bit of armor. Ow! <laughs> and some diamond, too. That's lucky. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. Okay. Uh, I just want to grab up those apples, too. I'm just- uh, reallocating some of my inventory here and we're gonna get going soon okay and yeah I've just totally destroyed this village's wall here the building yeah uh, excuse me excuse me bushes out of the way uh, <laughs> okay we got a pretty good start I would like to start myself a base somewhere around here because I'm not just gonna uh, I'm not just gonna wa walk around aimlessly in this playthrough, I, I'd like to settle down somewhere and make a, a half-decent looking builds and paths and all kinds mm. of stuff like that. And, uh, I just don't want to be uh, like one of those other Let's Players that's like, Hey guys, I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff and it turns out I don't even fucking do half that shit. You know, that would be pretty, pretty shitty. Um, okay. So... What is this? Uh, I need saplings to grow trees. Let's put down a chest here so I can dump some stuff in here and we're gonna we're gonna get we, we we have a good start here it's not bad just gonna get some saplings so I can plant a few trees and get some wood now with sleep out the way sleep is you know it's not a big deal now now that I now that I can basically sleep whenever I want, I don't really have to worry about nighttime. I really don't. It's not. It's uh, pretty good. Okay. Uh, next, want to get a furnace going. Drop the. Oh, I don't have a craft. What? Where's my crafting table? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Okay. So, um. Yes, I uh, want to get a furnace going. What am I even doing? Jesus Christ. Let's make a shovel. Shovel, but of course I don't have any stone. Let's just, no frigate. Let's just go for our hands. The trusty hands. That is, that is granite still. It's not stone, but it's fine. You can still make a furnace out of granite, actually. It's not too bad. Now, I don't want to... What is this? What is this stone? Is it mm -hmm. granite? Uh, no, it's still granite. Okay. It's like the... Granite. Not the rough granite. If you've ever seen this in this game. There's like different types of blocks. Okay. Well, I just grew a mega tree. That's going to be a lot of wood. Alright. Out the way. Oh yeah, birch sap. Cool. <laughs> Because, of course, like I'm trying to say without sounding super duper scatterbrained about stuff, is that uh, there's different types of blocks in the game and they allow you to just simply build stuff that looks cool and uh, like 
like arches and stuff like that. You know, that's like deco decorative stuff. Looking real nice, right? Living out here <laughs> in the wilderness without anything great. Okay. <laughs> um, I need to eat. Okay. Just plant that. Why not? I've got some meat on me, and that was the reason why I needed the furnace, was to get started with that. Now, mm. uh -huh. uh, now that I have, uh, I'm, okay, I'm gonna need a fresh axe to get down this tree. Now, when I mine these trees, I, okay, now I'm holding shift, or I'm crouching, right? Now, now I'm actually gonna mine the tree from up higher. And fuck, <laughs> it didn't quite do what I was expecting. Try to go up as high as you can and as close as you can to the higher branches. And hope to God that the whole thing comes down. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, got that out the way. Uh, got some wood. Alright, so usually in Conquest Reforged, uh, I tend to uh, use all of my garbage wood to... Okay, so like your goal is to get charcoal. Get a good amount of charcoal going. Uh, probably, actually keep the oak logs. Burn the, the ivy log, right? Burn that to create charcoal. Because, um, I'm gonna wanna build with the actual oak logs. Like these, these uh, standard oak logs. I'm gonna be building with for my house. Yeah. Um, next. Uh, I'm also thinking I love to have a, I'd love to have a bucket of water. Just a bucket. Cause buckets are useful in the game. Buckets can destroy all kinds of grass. Except not really, cause just fuck you. <laughs> of course not. Of course it doesn't. Uh, come on. Also, yeah, I need to eat. 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 Now I need to. Not, uh, I need to make another furnace. Then I need to make more meat. Cook the meat. Cook the meat. Get it in your stomach. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So. Uh, you, uh, do I kill the cow or do I? Yeah, I kill the cow. Uh, I kill the cow. Yes. Okay. So yeah, there's generally like a kind of like a a way to play the game in a sense. Yeah, there's pretty much I I call it a way to play the game, and I've been practicing playing this game. I didn't straight up start the game. I didn't just play the game for the first time and start recording. Or I did, but didn't upload it. Because, uh, playing this game, you need to know what you're doing. Because it's not straight up the easiest game to play than, uh, vanilla Minecraft. Now I'm just clearing out an area. And yeah, you do get the odd seed. But as you can tell, you're not getting many seeds. It gives you this terrible, terrible grass that you fill up your inventory with. And then subsequently fill up all of your chests with. That's uh, not fun. So anyway, anyway, let's, let's grab all this stuff. Uh, yeah, it's awful. Uh, look at it. it. Filled up my inventory, now it's gonna fill up my chests. Uh, <laughs> Okay, let's plant this down. Yes, I've got a floating tree in the sky. Ah! This mod and, well, tree chopper, it's not perfect. It is it is what it is. Okay, so I got some meat there. Actually, I'm not going to eat the meat yet. I'm going to get rid of these apples first. It's... Is that... No, that's, that's not even Conquest Reforged. That's just Minecraft. You just get rid of your apples first. I mean, that, that kind of makes sense. Okay, so enough blabbing. Let's uh, get on with building a house. <sighs> uh, I want to build beams. Beam. A beam, a beam, a beam, a beam. Okay. 
It needs exact. Oh, god damn it! <sighs> I don't have enough iron. I'm gonna have to go mining. Don't wanna. <laughs> so what do I do? Do I? Cause like if I. Uh, Okay, okay, and you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a fast forward. We're gonna mine, like, like this, and then I'm back. Actually, I am back a bit faster than I, uh, than expected. Okay, so like, what you can do... First of all, let's just say, in Conquest Reforge, you don't place torches. Don't place torches on the wall, there's no point. Just block it, block it with a hole. With a, what hole? With a block. Block the hole with a block, okay? Why? Because you just, in an early game, you don't need to be wasting all of your torches anyway. So there's like a skeleton, Mr. Skeleton, right here. I can see him, well, not see him, but he's through the wall here on this, on a similar level. Shh, Mr. Skeleton, you're going to die. Okay. Well, it wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting a bit more of a bigger cave. But anyway, I'm just gonna proceed with more mining and I'll be right back with you guys. Now, based on the height of the actual enemies, you can kind of tell where the caves are. What is my goal? My goal is to find caves. Caves equal ores. Ores? Prob well, probably ores. P probably because, well, the ore generation is a bit hard. Harder in this uh, mod pack. And, uh, yeah. Just trying to get to that cave. Now, what you'll find also, in lower levels, in a lot of biomes, the, uh, the, the rock material is just going to be much harder to mine out than... Uh, than in regular Minecraft, and therefore you need a bigger, better pickaxe. Right. Oh shit, we found a spawner. Oh, uh, let me run back. Holy crap. Uh, I need to get out a block. Block. Torches. Okay. Whoa, there's a creeper coming. Ooh! Okay, quick, quick, quick. Woo! Let's get this shit lit up. Ooh, ooh, super close. Okay. Okay, one moment. I'm just gonna take a, a little... Okay. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, need to... Finish up these guys. Finish ki finish killing these guys here. Now, ooh, ooh. let's back up, back up, back up a bit. Let's uh, let's grab that bow and arrow. If we may. Quick, quick, quick! Did I get it? Ah, I got the bow. Good. So I can just my inventory is so freaking cluttered. Okay, good. Let's combine that. Eat up. And there's a creeper over there. I'm not pretty certain. Okay. Okay, uh, what, I, what is in there? I just don't want to look at it too long. Okay, I got three ple- I got three pieces of iron. That is for the thingamajig I wanted to craft earlier. I can't remember what I want. It was a saw. It was like a saw. I'm like, is something gonna come up there? Anyway, let's, uh, quick, 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 quick. Get the string, I guess. Is this name tag? Ah, oh, that's what that is. Okay, it's a name tag. That's useful, I think. Or at least in newer Minecraft, a name tag is very useful. I'm not sure how that would apply to a farm. Now let's try not to get blown up by a wandering creeper. Okay, now let's build what we can build here because uh, this is early game. But anyway, it doesn't matter that it's early game. We'll get what we need to get. I've practiced enough. I know how to play this game. It's fine. Okay, so what I want 
I want to build more to use uh, uh, thingamajigs. I want to also plant a few more of this. Uh, like so. Excuse me. Like so. And uh, there's a creeper over there. It's very annoying. Ah, oh well, thank you very much. Because I, okay, well while we wait for the oak trees to grow, um, uh, uh, okay, actually that's not fully true. That's not fully true. I can make a few more oak beams, it's just I gotta use up some of the oak log, but I'm trying not to. That's why I'm kind of scatterbrained, because I, I don't want to use up all this oak log. I kind of got, a, I got no choice. I got no choice, I gotta use some of it. And then this, more oak beam, okay. So, this is one block high, so we're going to go for four blocks. Five, one, two, two, three, four, four. Huh. What to do? I mean, I just want to, basically, I want to place beams on top of the supports so that it looks like it's supporting off of something. But then again, look for the interest of this video. I don't want to spend freaking like all eternity on that stuff. So I guess we'll go back to the build with that on top like that. All right, let's uh, continue on. It's kind of it's kind of like doing the fish stick, you know. It's like it's real Sheagorf type stuff. It's yeah, it's a delicate state of mind. So you'll notice that if we place uh, half walls, like half slabs, vertical slabs, on the outside. Like, it can definitely break up the shape of the of the thing, so that it doesn't look so... But then, it, it can be it can be a little harder to place torches on the inside. That's about it. That's about it. Like, that's a, about the only constraint that I would say that there is uh, about that, really. Alright, so with the half, uh, half wall type uh, block, the half slab placed in, half slabs, Placed in? Yes. Okay. With that, <laughs> with that being placed in, uh, I'm going to start poking holes out, and that's going to be basically for uh, doors and windows. I'm going to want to. Uh, I really like vertical windows a lot, but sometimes it doesn't always work out because of the dimensions. Sometimes it it does not work out. I mean, sometimes it doesn't, uh, depending on the height of what's in the way. Let's start with placing a door of some kind because it would allow us to uh, figure out how that's gonna fit and that's possible now we have to place the doors like so because they, they just won't work otherwise the doors um, I could uh, however try some other kind of block material here uh, around this uh, area here look good if it could look good uh, if it can, well, we're definitely going to replace in that instead. Right. I think that's kind of... <laughs> I think that looks a lot better. So let's not uh, overcomplicate things. We got to get some glass going here. So while the glass is cooking up in the furnace here, I'm going to uh, then proceed to place... Uh, a bunch of slabs down as my flooring here. Now, my logic is that I do not need full blocks for the flooring. I can just double the amount of blocks that I have available by placing. Now, I'm gonna have to place these back in. Okay, so yeah, place in slabs because slabs make it so that you essentially double the amount of blocks that you have available. It's great. And because everything beneath the actual slabs is going to eventually be a basement area uh well i don't need the block area beneath the actual slab so it's a win 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 all right <laughs> with the magic of editing or that is just cutting to the next part uh the floor is now put in uh i'm gonna want to fix with all of uh, this grass is clipping in i'm gonna have to sort that out maybe place some gravel on the outside to kind of get rid of the grass on top of the grass block look at how wrong that is ah i want to kill myself okay so this first of all 
First of all, I have to break this. I have to break it. It's wrong. It's an oversight on my part. I'm supposed to place it like that. And I guess logically, I guess logically I have to place this like so. That's, okay, that's, that's perfect. Ugh. Don't want any logical fallacies in my playthrough. Alright, I believe that's pretty much it uh, for the build. Let's uh, go over it one last time. Of course, there's pretty much a, a ton of little details I'm going to be able to add when I level up a bit more. Uh, but uh, for the time being, uh, I'm going to have to get off of this roof here. Alright, so this is not by any stretch of the imagination a bad looking house. It's just kind of... I don't know, in some ways it's, yeah, it kind of looks alright. Like, it's fun to actually kind of build in Conquest Reforged, but it's also incredibly tedious. And, uh, while I'm glad that the house is done in that sense, I can start progressing with other things. I'm going to decorate the areas and try to make everything kind of look, um, neatly, uh, done. Yeah, uh, I think, okay, so... I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I have had a blast playing this, but I need to edit this and throw this up on YouTube. Uh, I hope you all liked this uh, video. And uh, yeah, if you really did like this video, then leave a like, comment, or subscribe for more of this kind of content. Uh, I have been Sapio, and until next time, farewell.